The Diamond Lake and Rocky Summit tracks near Wanaka were the brainchild of one quirky local, Stuart Lansborough of Puzzling World fame. Now, thanks to his efforts, the tracks are much more accessible for everyone to enjoy. Not sure when I'm coming back Putting my faith in the My business was seven days a week, sometimes 10, 12, 14 hours a day, and I had to get away. I sort of just drove past many times and I looked at the mountain, I thought I'd love to get to the top of it, and thought it would make it a wonderful place to have a walking track. And I went and asked the permission of the landowners, and first of all I had to survey a, a track, and then I had to try and build it. And I used simple tools like grubbers and spades. I used to drive here, uh, walk up the mountain, do a couple of hours work, go back down again, and two hours at a time. Leaving paradise, leaving paradise. I started it 14 years ago. Well, when I started, uh, it was a wonderful thing for me to, for exercise and just enjoyment. It got bigger and bigger and bigger, the job. So when the Department of Conservation decided they were going to take over this area, I was absolutely thrilled. Did you know that the distinctive round and worn features of the Diamond Lake area were carved out in the last ice age? Stuart's really led the charge on this whole opportunity up here that's now sort of spiralled, really, um, and we've been able to add to his good work and uh, build the new track that we've come up this morning um, and improve the facilities for the rock climbers and, and the public generally. I'm just going up to the top of Rocky Mountain, um, just a bit of training and rehab for my knee, really. So do you come up here quite a bit? Uh, yeah, a couple of times a week. And what's your favourite part of this track? Um, probably the west track going up through the bluffs, I have to say. All the icicles and that hanging off there is pretty nice. I'm going up to the top and take the, the track for an hour and a half and then after coming back and chill out. I suppose that every time I came up here I'd, I'd cover, I'd carry two or three planks or, or posts and uh, so over a period of time I built up a pile of stuff to build them for a long time, months. Months. You're very dedicated. I was dedicated in those <laughs> days. Yeah, I wouldn't do it now. <laughs> Behind me here is Diamond Lake and back in the 50s it was the ice skating hub of Wanaka and in around 1958 they had the national ice skating champs right here. You see that zigzag track over there? I wanted some help so I actually left a grubber and a spade there and I put a sign up there saying if you'd like to donate just one minute of your time and help to improve this track I'd appreciate it. Consequently after about two or three months we managed to get the whole of that zigzag done by walkers. This track was the creative vision of one quirky local and there have been plenty of blood, sweat and tears that have gone into it. I wonder what he'll come up with next. Yeah, I'm